I'd like to begin just by talking about addition and subtraction. Now I know that you've all had addition and subtraction since kindergarten, but I want to emphasize the use of the number line because I think that if you have a good feeling for moving up and down the number line that you'll not only be able to do simple addition and subtraction, but when you get lots of negative numbers into the expressions, it still won't be confusing to you. And that's what I'm looking for. So let's just start with a simple um, addition problem. How about 2 plus 3 equals? Well, we all know what it equals. It equals 5. I know that you know that. But I'd like you to think about how it uses the number line. What does 2 plus 3 really mean? Well, what it means is we start here at 2. And then this tells us whether to move up or down the number line. And in this case, it tells us to move up the number line. This tells us how far to move. We move 3 up the number line. 1, 2, 3. That's why our answer is 5. Let's just uh, look at that. The first number just tells us where to start. We start at 2. The second part of the expression tells us whether to go up the number line or down the number line. And in this case, we're going to go up. And that's what this arrow here means. And then the last number just tells us how far to go. That's why 2 plus 3 equals 5. All right, well, let's just try another one. Let's try two minus three. Where do we start? We start at two. Do we go up or down? This minus sign tells us that we go down. How far do we go? We go three. One, two, three. That's how we know our answer is negative 1. It's easy. Let's try another one. This one gets a little trickier. Well, maybe this one doesn't get a little trickier, but they're going to start getting a little trickier. Let's try 5 minus 4. Where do we start? We start here at 5. Do we go up or down? We're going down. How far do we go down? 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. That's why our answer is 1. I know you feel this is pretty trivial. But now let me show you why using these three questions, start, up or down, and how far, really makes it easy to not get confused when you have negative numbers. Let's try this. 5 minus negative 4. Now what about this minus minus? Well, minus minus, we can put all together and just say that's the same as plus. This is the place where two negatives equal a positive. If you want, you can think of it as I go down, but I go down backwards. That's the same as going up. You don't have to think of it that way. Just remember the two negatives right next to each other, that's 
these two things are being multiplied and they equal a positive. So now it's easy to do this problem. Where do we start? We start at 5. Which way do we go? Up or down? We're going up. How far do we go? Now notice we don't go negative 4 because this, this negative has already been taken care of. We just go 4. 1, 2, 3. Our answer is 9. Let's try another one. How about 5 plus negative 3? Well, this plus and minus are next to each other. What does that make? Overall, that makes a minus. So where do we start? We start at 5. Do we go up or down? We're going down. How far do we go down? 3. 1, 2, 3. Our answer is 2. Try another. How about 2 minus negative 3? And what did we just learn when the minus and the minus are next to each other? This is a plus. So where do we start? We start at 2. We go up or down? We're going up because it's a plus. How far do we go? We go. One, two, three. Our answer is five. Just a couple more, and then we'll be done. How about negative four minus six? Where do we start? We start at negative four. Do we go up or down? We go down. How far do we go? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Our answer is negative ten. All right, last one. Negative four minus negative six. What did we learn about negative negative? This is the same as plus. Where do we start? We start at negative 4. We're going to go up or down? We're going up. It's a plus. How far do we go up? We go up 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Our answer is 2. It may seem simple, but if you use this method, you will never get confused about negative numbers. Remember, when you see plus a minus, you can group that together, and it means minus. And when you see minus minus, you group that together, and it means plus.